Hello, I'm Amy Green. Hi, I'm Bill Green, and we are so excited to be here today to talk about Beyond Celiac and the honoring of the Rabbits Family Foundation. We have a long history with the Rabbits family. We go back many, many years with Steve Rabbits, may he rest in peace, and the Rabbits family has done so much for the community in general and beyond Celiac. They've been involved with the organization for over 10 years. Amy and I have been involved with Beyond Celiac um, since the beginning. We've been involved in raising money for celiac, the disease, since the late 90s, given that our daughter, who's now 34, has had celiac since she's two years old. Little did I know that she was being malnourished. She was a child. It was undiagnosed. Okay. This is such a critical time for this organization to give and to continue the research that they are supporting and all of the folks that they help throughout the country. We won't be able to gather in person this year, but we are pleased to report that we have already raised $159,000 toward our $250,000 goal. Now is the time to give. We urge you to join us virtually for this amazing event. We are honored to introduce our friend, Brett Rabbits of the Rabbits Family Foundation. This year's recipients of the Samuel Gee Award with a special message. On behalf of my family and the Rabbits Family Foundation, we are honored and humbled to be this year's honoree. Anyone that knows me knows that I have two children with celiac disease. For me, my wife, and my kids, that is our connection to celiac disease and the Beyond Celiac organization. In the many years that we have partnered with the Beyond Celiac organization, we have watched them move from a organization focused on awareness to where we are today, an organization fighting for a cure. I am pleased to introduce Alice Bass, CEO of Beyond Celiac. Although we can't gather in person, the community is rallying together for a cure for celiac disease. And as you heard from Amy and Bill Green, we've actually raised 159,000 towards our 250,000 goal for an evening beyond celiac, which, which is really our most important event of the year. It's a fundraiser to, it, to accelerate treatments and a cure for celiac disease. Celiac disease is a serious genetic autoimmune disease, and the gluten-free diet is not sufficient. We know that actually there's a progression of the disease can, that can lead to serious health consequences such as cancer, autoimmune diseases, and even we're thinking some brain damage. So what is Beyond Celiac doing about this? Well, we are funding the science that's gonna lead us to treatments and a cure for celiac disease. And we've taken a three-pronged approach. The first prong is ensuring that our community is enrolled in clinical trials. That means everybody has to participate in clinical trials so that we'll, we'll get treatments and a cure earlier. Secondly, we have to make sure that the treatments that are de developed actually treat the problems and the symptoms that really concern us as patients with celiac disease. And lastly, we're funding the best research that goes from the bench, that means from the science the scientists to the bedside so that we can take these treatments and we can be able to live life to the fullest. Our current science projects reflect this approach. So we've heard from you. We know that many people in our community are affected by depression, anxiety, and even brain fog where they can't pull out words. And we're funding a project that is really looking at the intersection of the gut and the brain and how the brain is affected by gluten. And we wanna make sure that when treatments are developed, that not only they take care of the GI symptoms, but they'll make sure that we will be able to live life to the fullest and will take care of any neurocognitive symptoms as well. Our second project is ensuring that everyone, no matter what race, ethnicity, geography, gender, are properly diagnosed with celiac disease because it's important that we represent the entire population with celiac disease and enroll these, the diverse population into clinical trials. 
And lastly, it's a very exciting project that I wanted to share with you, is a project where we've partnered with Janssen to look at intercepting and potentially preventing celiac disease. We've understood now that changes start to take place in the intestine prior to the onset of the disease. This is very promising research and we hope it will give clues into how we can intercept or prevent the disease. At Beyond Celiac, we have the passion, the people, and the science to be the catalyst for treatments and a cure for celiac disease. And we have hope. Please, please join us and support us. Go to beyondceliac.org evening. Join in the cause and help fund our projects. We're so appreciative that you, our community, our board of directors, are there for us so that we can be able to live life to the fullest in the future and eat without fear. I urge you all to please join us for our virtual event and, if possible, make a personal commitment to the organization. Join us in supporting Beyond Celiac so that the next generation can have effective treatment options for this serious autoimmune disease. Looking forward to seeing you all on October 28th.